So within our iPhones, there are tons of applications that are built in natively. So as soon as we basically buy our iPhone, you can go ahead and actually you know use your iPhone as you normally would, but you can also delete a lot of applications. And I would recommend to never delete these three applications that I'm going to get into. And it's funny that you can even delete some of these because they're actually super important. Now the first one, I would definitely say the files application is the one main application I would probably recommend nobody to delete. Even if you go through and you basically, let's just say you go ahead and you know you never use files or whatever, it is so good to have a built-in files application that is made by Apple because it allows you to go ahead and do so much within this application. And it really is reliant on a lot of different things that you're going to do within your phone. Now, you are able to delete it by holding it down and you can actually click remove app and you can delete this app. Now, you can always re-download it from the app store, but if you go through, if you delete it immediately, then it's just going to mess up your device. But if you delete it immediately, you're probably not going to even remember to you know, re-download it and you're going to be stuck in this really weird phase. Another thing, there are some applications you cannot delete, like you know the settings application, you cannot remove it, but you can remove from home screen. But within the files app, you can build out your own files and folders, but you also have access to your iCloud drive, which I think is super cool because just in case sometimes if you have like lots and lots of folders and files within your iCloud drive, there's not really an easy way to delete them inside of, you can delete them kind of in the settings application, but it's always good to have your information here in case you do want to delete it. You can always delete your downloads that are saved into iCloud drive or even hard files that are saved onto your phone. You can delete them here too. So the files app. I would 1 billion percent recommend keeping. Now another application that I used to delete all the time is actually the shortcuts application. So this one comes natively with all of our iPhones, we all know this, and it is a super important application because it not only does it allow us to do some, you know, kind of automation tasks within our iPhone, it also allows us to kind of theme out our iPhone a little bit more with like different applications and, you know, theming our icons and stuff. I think it's a really cool thing and a cool app to use and have. Unfortunately, like I said, this is also probably one of the first applications I always delete. So what I would probably recommend doing is going through keeping this application as well. There's not really a massive reason to go ahead and, you know, kind of delete this one either. It doesn't take up too much space either. So Shortcuts is another application I would 1000% recommend keeping. Now, another app I probably would not recommend deleting at all either is the Wallet application. The Wallet app pretty much holds all your, you know, cards and gift cards and stuff like that, which is very important. If you're ever wanting to go ahead and actually add a credit card or use Apple Pay, you will need to use the wallet application. So this is another app I would not recommend deleting at all because if you do delete it, well then it's going to be you're going to be stuck in a weird phase where you're not going to be able to use your, you know, Apple Pay or certain areas like that. We're not going to be able to configure a few things. I think the photos application is also another app. Okay, so luckily this one you cannot delete. There's also a lot of other stock ones I wouldn't recommend deleting. These ones that are here, like FaceTime and camera and all these ones, whichever ones you can you know, not delete, that's okay. But those are some of the main applications that I've seen that I probably would not recommend deleting at all, in my opinion. So if you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.